with action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired, for this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy, and Andy Clyde as California. Here's Hoppy now with another new story. Well, it's one I call Gunhawk Convention, and it began one day in eastern Arizona. I'd made a big trail drive to a rancher who had paid for the herd in gold, $10,000. It was too much to carry, so after sending the crew back to the Bar 20, California and I rode into the town of Bismarck to exchange the gold for a bank draft. Though it was a small town, Bismarck was the hub of Titus Tremaine's big freighting empire and we knew it would have a bank able to give us the draft. It was nearly noon as we rode down the single street. Well, uh, where's the people of this town? I don't see nobody. Uh, I hope we get a peek at old Titus Tremaine. Uh, I hear he's the richest gent this side of Texas. <laughs> yeah, this town sure is a Tremaine monopoly. Look. Tremaine Hotel, the Tremaine Livery Stable, the Tremaine Saloon. And here's the bank. Uh, well, I wonder why he don't own that. He does. Look down in the corner of the window. Bank of Bismarck, Titus T. Tremaine, president. Well, let's go see him. Ah, uh, this gold my saddlebag is heavy. I bet Topper's glad to get rid of it. Looks like lunchtime. Yeah. Well, good afternoon. I'd like to exchange this for a draft. No. Mm. What is it, cowboy? Ten thousand gold. Okay. <coughs> Ten thousand gold? I'd like a draft for it, please. Make it out to William Cassidy, Bar 20 Ranch. Ten thousand. Hmm. This is an unexpected pleasure. Thanks. Yeah. Now I can finish my sandwich. A chicken. Hoppy, I don't think he's Tremaine. I'm beginning to wonder if he's even a bank teller. Hey, uh, friend, my draft, remember? Yep. Draft for what, cowboy? Hey, Jack, any more sandwiches left? For what? For my $10,000. <laughs> he must be loco. Hear that, Jack? He claims he brought in $10,000. <laughs> oh, that's sure funny. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah. Where would a couple of cowboys get $10,000? On your way, fellas. This ain't a charity. Why, you blasted thieving coyote. Come up on your way. Old fella, thank your partner. If that gun had cleared leather, you'd sure be buzzard bait. <laughs> and if Jack's guns aren't enough, try mine. It's been covering you both under the counter since you came in. So, it's a holdup. Very impolite term for it, but yes. And just who are you, crooks? Mine, Jack. We're not as famous as we thought. Gentlemen, meet Jack Savage, later Texas. Savage, the renegade bandit who runs the big border gang? The same. And, uh, hey, if you're going to the sheriff, you'll want my name, too. It's Caradu. The Caradu? Ah, then I do have some reputation. I don't know of a killer who owns a dirtier one. Oh, what a nasty thing to say. Jack, do me a favor. Sure, Caradu. Happy to apply. No! Hey, you can't do that to Hoppy and... Oh! <laughs> Neat. Very neatly done, Jack. Take their guns away and throw them two guys into the street. Oh, uh, before you do, hand me another sandwich, will you? Things like this give me such an appetite. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Gunhawk Convention. Stopping in the small town of Bismarck to exchange 10000 in gold for a bank draft, Hoppy and California find two of the biggest border bandit chiefs running the bank. Robbed of the gold, Hoppy and California are slugged and thrown into the street, where they are now coming to. Oh, California. Yeah. 
Yeah, me too, Hoppy. Oh, my head feels like it's been plumb drove down into my britches. Yeah, that savage did a good job on us. He sure did. Savage? Huh. I'm a-going back into that bank and blast that skunk clear to Hades. With no gun? Sit down, California. Uh, I ain't good up yet, and I ain't sure I can. Oh, Hoppy, what are we going to do? The first thing to do is see the sheriff and try to get some guns. Come on. Hoppy, uh, did it strike you that those two hombres was taking it awful careless like? It certainly did. I wish I knew why. Yeah, I could like they owned the town instead of being in the middle of a robbery. Uh, here's the sheriff's office. Doors close. Let's see. Hmm? It's locked. You gents looking for someone? Uh, yeah, the, the sheriff. Where is he? The bank's being robbed. No. Well, you might dig up the sheriff somewhere, but I don't think it'll do you much good. And just why not, stranger? Well, he's a little indisposed right now. You might even say he's dead. Hoppy, what are we going into the saloon for? I ain't thirsty. Neither am I. But I don't know of a better place to find out things. Uh, Hoppy, the bartender. He's the same gent we met on the street. Uh, uh, no, no, it can't be, because uh, he was heading the other way. What'll it be, gents? I don't suppose you'd be interested in the fact that the bank is being robbed? Nope. Now, we got bad beer and worse liquor and no water. That hombre we ran into in the street, he's your twin? Could be. He's D. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You'll make a funny corpse. Oh, yeah. Tweedledee. You're the Lawson twins. Yep. Pap only learned to read one book. He named us out of it. Tweedledee and me, Tweedledum. Only we cut it down to D and dumb. You got any crack to make about it? No, thanks. Come on, California. Uh, well, Hoppy, now stop pushing me. Shut what up and keep he... moving. Sure, sure, Hoppy, but uh, what's this all about? I wish I knew. The Lawson twins are two of the deadliest killers in Arizona. What? Uh, Hoppy, this town seems to be just fuller. Full of nothing but gunfighters and bandits. And notice something else? There's not a woman to be seen any place. We've landed right in the middle of a gunhawk convention. What we need is the army. Come on, get on your horse and let's go. Hoppy, for gosh sakes, let's hightail. Now keep your horse in a trot. We don't want to attract attention. You reckon they'll try and stop us? I think they have stopped us. All right, strangers, get off the horses. Keep covered. Now, you two act gentle or the next shots won't be in the air. You know, I guess that. Yeah? Well, guess this. You're to stay in town until you get permission to leave. That'll be in a couple of days. I know you. You're dumb. I'm D. Why? Pap only read one book. He named us... Thanks, but I've heard your life story. I meant, why do we have to stay? And uh, where are the townspeople? Mister, get uncurious. And you may reach your next birthday. Start snooping or try to leave town, and they'll cut your neck suit out of wood. Ah, this bed sure feels good. Uh, bandits, bandits everywhere. Not a darn gun to shoot them with. Uh, what you looking out the window for? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out where the townspeople are. All the men on the street seem to be outlaws. Uh, maybe if I can spot Savage or Caradu, we can follow them and find out. Hoppy, didn't you hear that D. Lawson? A wood suit can be mighty uncomfortable. Would make a feller feel so, uh, so d d d dead. Mm -hmm. Things are plain enough, ain't they? Them big border outlaws got together and took over the whole town. But why this town, 250 miles from the border? And how did they get together? Bandit chiefs aren't exactly playmates, you know. And we have to figure out where the townspeople are. All right. Uh, let's go get ourselves shot up a little. We may not get any answers, but uh, you'll feel better. Uh-uh. 
There's Kara doing Savage heading for the jail. Let's go. Uh, 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 must be raining outside. The snakes are indoors. Uh, hi, uh, D. I'm dumb. You two going someplace particular? Oh, just taking our exercise. Yeah, yeah, exercise. <gasps> Ah, well, uh, we've heard enough of that. A uh, man shouldn't overdo it. Uh, back up, Hockey. Uh, whee! Hmm, Hockey, did you see the size of that gun he was pointing at us? I reckon we'll stay here. No, let's try the window. It's dark enough outside. Oh, uh, but Hoppy, uh, we ain't got no wings. It's 50 feet above the... I didn't see any guards below it. No, it's clear. Oh, uh, good. We can climb up and down the slanting roof over the ports. Drop from it is only 15 feet or so. But be quiet. There's the jail between the buildings where the lighted window is. It's open, Hoppy. Maybe we can hear what they're... Shh! They're still there. Savage, Caradu, the other Lawson... And a stranger. Hey, look at him. He's the biggest thing I ever seen. Shh. Listen. <laughs> Drink up, my thieving friend. In two more days, the wagon train will be in Mexico. And we'll all be rich men. <laughs> I'll be glad when it's over. This sitting and waiting gets on my nerves. I like action. Well, keep it in hand, my good savage. You kill the sheriff. That should satisfy your bloodlust a little. The townspeople are safe as prisoners in that old mine. And maybe they'll forget the sheriff's death after a while. Any more shooting and the investigation might be closer than we could stand. Closer than you could stand, you mean? Huh? I still think that fella Cassidy and his partner ought to have been crossed off. Oh, that's why you're nothing but a bandit. You should remember, a killing is only good when it serves a purpose. Dean! Uh, Boss, the strangers are loose. What? You fool! I got men looking for them. They can't get away. California, we better get out of here fast. <coughs> oh, dang that can. They'll hear that. Let's run. There they are. Get them. Too late. Hoppy was surrounded. Make a fight for it. Kill the dirty snooper. I'm coming your way, Savage. At least I'll get out of my way. You... Hey. Oh. Hoppy! Hoppy! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Gunhawk Convention. In the freighting center of Bismarck, Hoppy and California have been robbed of $10,000, slugged, threatened, and held prisoner by a combined group of the border's most notorious bandits and gunfighters. In an effort to investigate the strange affair, Hoppy and California escape their guard and eavesdrop on the leaders, only to be trapped by searching outlaws. In the fight, Hoppy was slightly wounded. There. How's your side feel now, Hoppy? Oh, I'm all right. It's only a crease. Crease? Crease? Heck, I, I could lay my finger in that slice. All right, all right. That's enough. Sure. After this, you're planning to finish him off, ain't you? Jack, quit acting like a thug and use your head, if you can. Care I do? Sometime I'm going to get unhappy with your siding against me in this deal. <laughs> now, don't go getting edgy with me, Jack. We patched up our differences when we came into this thing. Mm-hmm. Well, be careful you don't bust a seam in the patches. I might decide to not like the way your heart acts. The way my heart acts? Yeah. It just keeps beating and beating. Someday it'll annoy me doing that, and I'll just have to shut it up. Boys, boys, please. Where's your sense of comradeship? I've got the comradeship, but keep Jack off my back. Now see what you've done, Savage. You've upset him. <laughs> How about it? Do I bore these two? Tell him no, big man. You're the boss. Oh, I wish I could avoid it. Unnecessary killing offends me. But I'm afraid I must agree with Savage. You saw me, so you must die. But not in Bismarck. Tie them, Savage, and stick them in a safe place. You can take them with you and kill them when you're far away. Oh, what's the point of that? I want no more deaths connected to this affair. Well, you're the boss. 
You want them in the mine with the rest? And have them talk to the townspeople. Don't be stupid. Toss them in that brick kiln up the hill. Sure. They won't get out of that oven. Wait. Seems you've been mighty careful not to use a name, big man. Who are you? <laughs> you never learn. And despite the fact that you're practically a dead man, I don't like to chance slips. Well, uh, we ought to have something to use when we cuss you. Well, in that case, just just call me Big Man. Why not? <laughs> I'm the biggest man around. Go on, take them away, Savage. Oh, and take their pants. It may discourage their nightly wanderings. <laughs> I'm catching cold. <laughs> inside, you two. I said inside. I don't catch cold without your britches. <laughs> Gee, it's dark, Hoppy. Uh, let go of my hand. I'm not holding your hand. How could I? I'm tied too, you know. You're, you you uh, uh, Hoppy, if, if you ain't, uh, who is? Me. Sammy Atkins, the storekeeper. Uh, well, look, if you're one of the townspeople, untie us. Uh, sure. Wait till I strike a match to see what to untie. My... Polka dots. Never mind the description. Just some tires. Yeah, we'll get some pants as soon as we get out of here. How come you aren't locked up in the mine with the others? When I saw the bad men, I came in here and hid. It's where I always hide from my wife, Bertha, when she's mad. I hide in here pretty often. There, polka dots, you're free. Thanks. And the name's California Carlson. And this is my partner, Hopalong Cassidy. California. That door opens inward. As soon as I get untied, I'll make a rumpus and get the guard to open it. When it's unlocked and you feel his hand turning the handle, yank it open and hard. When he's off balance, I'll take him. I shall be happy. And you're free, Mr. Cassidy. Good. All right. Take hold of the door handle, California. Here goes. Help! We're dying! Let us out! It's safe, Hoppy. Now! Hey! Hi! Hi! Uh, quick, close the door, California. I'll get his guns. Sammy, start striking matches. Sure. Now, come on, Bo Peep. Wake up. Uh, Wake up! Oh, uh, don't. Don't hit me. Snap out of uh, it. I want you to talk. Hoppy, <coughs> it's dumb. I'm D. Don't hit me. I'll talk. Ah, uh, you'd better. Talk loud, fast, and straight. What's in that wagon train heading for the border? Nothing but loot from the town. You know, the stuff the boys stole from the stores. From the stores? We let me at it. Wait, him. Sammy, Wait. D, the loot from town wouldn't be enough to pay you, your brother, Savage, and Caradu. I wasn't supposed to be. The men were to get paid in what they could steal. Caradu, Savage, my brother, and me were to get cut in on on another angle. Yeah, I bet I know. That wagon train was from Tombstone, and every wagon was loaded heavy. It's silver bullion. And so it was silver. It was taken out of the wagons. Where was it unloaded? I don't know. All I know is that it was worth around a quarter of a million. Dumb and me were to be paid in coin. $30,000 as soon as the deal was finished. Which means Savage and Caradu probably are to get 50000 That leaves a big chunk for the big man. Who is he? I don't know. We were hired through Caradu. How many men are in town? Savage brought in 20, Caradu about 30. Dumb and me only had eight men with us. What good is all this? You'll find out. California tie him up good. You can't get out of the town and you can't... Ah, oh, Quiet. Sammy will try to sneak to your store and get some pants and guns if they left any. Sure thing. I'll give you the best prices in town. Not a gun or a shell left in the store. Uh, but at least we did get pants. Next thing to release the prisoners. Yeah. Huh? Do you know what old mine they're held in, Sammy? Well, there's only one up the hill a ways. But without guns, what good are people? <laughs> That's a good question. But I noticed something that was overlooked. That box of dynamite there. Well, there's only a half a dozen sticks in that box. Oh, well, we'll make it do. We'll camp and fuse them and take them with us. Uh, how will we free the prisoners, Hoppy? They'll be guarded. I know. Sammy, how would you like to be a bandit? Me? A bandit? <laughs> what an imagination. Yeah. 
Take one of Lawson's gun belts and strap it on. A rose by any name. With guns, I'm still a storekeeper. It has to be you, Sammy. California or I'd be recognized. Now, all you have to do is convince the guard you're his relief. There's so many outlaws in town, you won't even know you're not one of them. And when he comes out, we'll jump him. Yeah, sure, I get it. How do I look? Just like a little killer. <laughs> yeah. You know, a man can get dead doing things like this. Well, General Hoppy, your army of four men, two guns, and five sticks of dynamite is equipped and ready. Good. I'm leaving you in charge of it. Station two men at either end of town out of sight. I'll take the third gun and last stick of dynamite with me into town. Watch for my signal to make the demonstration. Uh, sure, Hoppy. Uh, if anything happens, I'll get them for you. I'll blast every one of them personal. <laughs> Inside the jail, I'll never get a better chance. Who's there? Oh, don't, don't, don't shoot! It's me, Sammy. Sammy, get back to the mine before you're spotted. Uh, I wish I could, but my wife said to come and help you. I'm more afraid of her than a few measly bandits. Well, it's too late to argue. Here, you can take the dynamite and this cigar. Light it. Sure. The cigar, not the dynamite. Oh. Okay, it's lit. Stand behind me as I go in. They draw me. Light the fuse of that dynamite. Okay, even I know how to light a fuse. Lead on. Hold it, all of you. What? I'll drop the first man that moves. What? 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 How did you get loose again? What does this mean? It means all the prisoners are free, big man. See what Sammy is holding in his hand? That's dynamite. Then, then you come to kill us. No, 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 no. I no. came to give you all a chance to surrender. The town is surrounded by your ex-prisoners. <laughs> so? They each have two sticks of dynamite. Try to escape and they'll blast you off your horses. Try to fight and they'll blast the whole town apart. Not while you're here. While we're here. Well, do you surrender to trial or do they bury you in pieces? You uh, wouldn't be trying to bluff, would you, Cassidy? Not against this bunch, Care do. Even I have more sense than that. Sammy, pull that shade up and down a couple of times. Sure thing. See? Not a thing. No. Now you know I'm not bluffing. Well, you have one minute to make up your mind. <laughs> Taken and by a cow hand. Okay, I know when the odds are bad. I'll round up the men. Here goes my gun belts. Here I do, you dirty skunk. You ain't quitting this deal. Not if I have to die for it. Look out, he's drawing. <laughs> Thanks, Cassidy. He was going to backshoot me, sure. Oh, forget it. Just get out there and tell all the outlaws to head for the mine. Fast, unarmed, and single file. Uh, Mr. Cassidy... Not I... now, Sammy. Dumb, you and big man back against the wall, next to that window. Cassidy, your gold, it's in my cellar with the silver. You, you, you can have it back, and more. I'll pay you, I'll pay you anything, only don't... Uh, Mr. Cassidy, you must In a listening. second, Sammy. Go on, big man. I, I, I was speculating. My fortune was lost if I didn't get money quick, but there's plenty for you. Don't turn me in. I'm to tell the townspeople you are being held here in jail, that it? While all along you're betraying them. No deal. Uh, Mr. Cassidy, what'll I do with this dynamite now that I've lit it? The fuse is getting short. You what? It, it, Throw it and get down! Uh, sure. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Hoppy, you all right? I'm checking, but I think so. No thanks to Sammy here. Well, you said light the fuse if they drew, so I lit it. Savage's the only one who drew. The dynamite was the last resort to take them with us. Oh, what's the use? We collected the outlaws. They're in the mine. Hey, uh, who's that? Savage, Dumb Lawson, and the big man, Tremaine. When Sammy tossed the dynamite out the window, it blew the wall in on them. Savage is dead, but I think the others are only unconscious. Did you say Tremaine? Titus T. Tremaine? The freight king? The same. He was going to pretend the bandits had held him prisoner here in jail. That's why we had to die. We saw him as the leader. We could have spoiled his plan. I'll tell you, but first send a fast rider to get the wagon train stopped. Uh, and another in the nearest army post for them to come and get a parcel of tame outlaws. All except uh, Caradu, that is. When he found out we had only six sticks of dynamite, he almost went loco. Yeah, I guess I fibbed to him a little. A little? I wouldn't bluff like that with four aces. Our gold and the silver from the trainer and Tremaine's cellar. The silver was unloaded at his house. Then the wagons went on into Mexico. 
And in his position, it wouldn't have been hard to ship the silver out later and bit. Uh, how'd you figure it was Tremaine? D- did he tell you? No, but when he used his handkerchief, I saw his initials. How many men do you know with the initials T-T-T? Uh, excuse me, but is everything over with? Uh, what? Oh, yes, Sammy, I guess so. Oh, thank heavens. I've been waiting hours to do this. Oh. Well, I'll be darned. Hoppy, he's fainted. Yeah, wife or no wife, I think Sammy Atkins is completely cured of playing hero. (laughs) Even without his guns, Hoppy can still blast his way clean through any trick situation and put an end to a gunhawk convention. An action-packed adventure next takes Hoppy in California into the middle of a murderous frame-up with a young boy as the pawn when they meet up with a gunfighter in short pants. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Gunhawk Convention was written by Herb Purdom with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Melford. This is a Commodore production.